Hi, in this video, you will learn how to perform a low exponent attack against the RSA crypto system. So given the public modulus n and, and the public exponent e, we want to find, we want to factor n and find the private exponent d. Now, first, what, what does it mean low exponent attack? So it applies only when the private exponent d, so remember e times d is congruent to one mod phi of n, and the low exponent attack uh, applies when d is less than one third times n to the one fourth, okay? Now, what happens in this case? Well, first, let k such that ed equals one plus k times phi of n. Uh, so what happens here is that the uh, fraction k over d will be somewhat close to the fraction e over n. That can be calculated, of course, because e and n are both public uh, parameters, okay? And so, um, when it can be calculated, it means that, uh, so it means that k over d is so close that in fact, it will be one of the convergence of the continued fraction expansion of e over n, which is something that we can perform. Now, the issue, of course, is that we need to identify which of these conversions it is. So assume that you're given pi over qi with the ith conversion, which we'll call a over b then how do we decide that this is in fact k over d? Well, first, we need to calculate c, which is eb minus 1 over a, which would be phi of n uh, if we did hit k over d. And we calculate the polynomial p of x, which equals x squared minus n minus c plus 1 x plus n. And if we have k over d, then what it means is this polynomial would be x minus p times x minus q, where p and q are the factors of n. And if we hit that point, then we win, okay? We have factored n, we retrieve d, and all is good, okay? Now, uh, so let's move on to uh, our, our specific example here. Uh, so, so this is our polynomial here. Um, so we need to calculate the continued fraction expansion of e over n. So e over n at the first term, okay, it's equal to, um, so it's approximately equal to zero. So I'll let you do this with a calculator, okay? I have a cheat sheet, uh, two, eight, uh, three, nine, et cetera, et cetera. And that equals an integer part of zero plus uh, epsilon one, which is the fractional part. Now at this stage, the conversion a over b is equal to zero, and there's really no no nothing to learn from this. So we'll quickly move on to uh, the next term of the continued fraction expansion. So one over epsilon one. Sorry, um, uh, apologies. Uh, here is an epsilon zero. So one over epsilon zero, of course, uh, is approximately uh, 3.521 uh, 39 etc and that's 3 plus so the integer part of 3 plus the fractional part of epsilon 1 and a over b is 1 over 3 okay so now we have non-trivial values and we calculate the polynomial so I fast forward to the actual value of the polynomial um, so I left uh, I left as an exercise to actually calculate this so you can verify that you're able to do it. So x squared minus 16, uh, uh, 0, 048 x uh, plus n, which is uh, uh, 10, 8, uh, 3, 7, 1. Okay. And this has no integer roots. So it means that this was not the conversion that we were looking for. Okay, so we're moving on now to the next convergence. Okay, so one over epsilon one. Okay, this is approximately 1.9176 etc. Okay, and that's an integer part of one plus a fractional part that we'll call epsilon two, which is, you know, 
0 0.9179, etc. All right, so it means our fraction here, I mean, the, the our term in the continued fraction expansion is uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 1, which is 1 over 4. Okay, so a equals 1, b equals 4. What polynomial do we get here? We get p of x equals x squared plus 14, 7, 27 x plus n, which is still 108, 3, 7, 1. Okay, and this also does not have any uh, integer uh, root. So what it means is then we still don't have the right conversion and we're going to move on to the next one, okay? So 1 over epsilon 2 is approximately 1.08941, okay? Which is 1 plus epsilon 3, so integer part of 1, epsilon 3, 0 point, uh, uh, 08941, et cetera, et cetera. And now A over B, our convergent, is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1, and that is 2 over 7, okay? So 2 over 7, what polynomial do we get? We get p of x equals x squared, uh, x squared minus 660x six, six, plus n, which is 1, oh, uh, 10, 8, 371, and this happens to factor as x minus 307 times x minus 353, okay? So we have, since 307 times 353 equals n, that means that we have finally found the right conversion. We also have factored n, and we have successfully uh, perform the attack. All right. So uh, now you know how to execute successfully the low exponent attack against uh, the RSA crypto system. Thank you for listening.